Hey guys, I'm Gaz and this week we're going to look at why you might want to think about swapping this for this. Hardware lighting controllers have always been the go-to way to control and program lighting fixtures and they're a fantastic solution. In fact, in many ways, they'll probably always be the industry standard approach, but they're not the only way of doing it. And we've recently switched from a hardware option to a software-based controller called Lightkey and we just wanted to show you the setup and why it's really helped us find a new level of quality and consistency in our lighting design on a Sunday. One of the huge advantages of running a software option is the synchronization that you get between programs. So we don't actually use Lightkey to control the lights, that's just running in the background. All the controlling from a user point of view is done through ProPresenter. Uh, we've um, created a, a, a number of kind of looks in ProPresenter for the screen and then that fires triggers um, to Lightkey uh, via an IAC driver. I'm not going to go into details about how you set that up. There's loads of videos so just Google IAC driver. It's fairly straightforward to do but once you set it up ProPresenter then sends the MIDI signal out into Lightkey and then moves the lights at the same time as the screen. It's a really easy way to get a, a really professional look um, between your screen, your moving backgrounds or even your lyrics as well and your lights and so as the songs develop in worship you can control all of the looks um, at just one click of a button. So let me just walk you through some of our looks. So we're on pre and post at the minute so that's just how things will look before the service but um, as you go into um, as you go into worship you might want to dip the light so we've got this slide that just kills the screen completely and dips just to a really basic light um, look on the drums then as the first song comes in you can choose any one of these the operator could choose any one of these looks and with one click the stage refreshes and the lights also refresh um, obviously these three are the same screen but they're different light um, different lighting looks, in fact there's a little tweak on the screen for that one but then these are a whole different look so you might want to dip out and then come back in on another look and that just refreshes the screen but you can see how using the screen almost as a light um, and therefore controlling that at the same time just it gives a real advantage um, to how you can make things look. Then these are some uh, more um, like special looks that we use for instrumental sections or loud sections of the uh, song. They, they're designed to kind of blow out the cameras a bit so that um, it looks more intense and more dynamic. So you get this kind of white out effect. So there's a couple here that are different color without any spotlights on the singers and then you can dip back out. So everything moves together, everything talks to each other. The only, um, the only direct control we have with light key is just this MIDI controller here which just controls our house lights on and off um, which is just useful for sound checks and, uh, and walkthroughs and then we've just got a couple of different levels of haze that we can just, it's a bit more manual haze, you want to just read the room, see how much is there and so that just allows the operator to just manually control that and that talks directly to light key but everything else is just done via ProPresenter um, and the other way that we use it is using uh, Ableton, we don't do this as often but um, if you've got a big conference or a big event like Chris um, we'll use Ableton to send MIDI triggers uh, to Lightkey and once you've designed your set in Lightkey it automatically generates um, uh, an Ableton trigger so all you have to do then is once you set up the MIDI communication you just drag in that cue into your Ableton set and as soon as it hits the cue it will move the lights for you again it's dead straightforward and takes it to e even slicker level really because you can get into real details with the song. So let me just open up, I've got um, our Christmas set here, um, so let's just one, load up two, the song. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see the lights just move at exactly the same time as the intro, 
the screen will come on in a couple of bars as well. Um, uh, once again, being controlled all through Ableton. And all that's possible First because one. of using a software. The screen comes on there. Let's look at another another song. One, two, a bit more on the screen intro, on this one. Two, three, four. So that's how we're using ProPresenter and Lightkey and Ableton to control how our stage looks on a Sunday. Hope you found this video helpful. We think it's a great option, uh, really straightforward to use and to get a professional look and it doesn't take long to program either. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to write them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer. Cheers guys.